Please listen carefully. Right then, plan trip this morning, or today is down to Portsmouth. I live in Nuneaton in Warwickshire, so it's a bit of a trek. Uh, it's going to involve, I think, four planned stops on the way down. This is a route. This is a route I used to do on a pretty much a weekly basis, going down to um, when, I, when I worked for IBM, the headquarters in Portsmouth. I used to do this route quite a lot. Uh, it'd be a, a variation of that route to catch the rapid charges on the way down. But it's a straightforward run, and I'm trying to do a run on the fastest route, so motorway route down rather than eco route, which is what I've been doing sort of normally when I travel. I, I've gone for the eco route. But I tried to run out last weekend down to Gloucester, and I found that I, I tried using the motorways, um, the fastest route, because I thought. It was probably less stop and starting actually, although the eco route is in theory more economical because you're travelling at lower speeds, obviously there's a lot more stopping and starting and gradient variation, so yeah, it was interesting last weekend, I, I kind of found that the energy usage was, was not bad actually on the motorway, so the aim of today is to kind of try a longer trip and see how that fares. Uh, I expect that I'm making a few stops, like I say, th four, four plan stops I think, but they're not necessarily going to be long stops because um, I'm keeping fairly reasonably short 40-50 you know, mile gaps between them, so should be fairly quick stops I hope. Anyway, it's quite nippy outside today, so the first thing I'm going to do is Turn the old heating on remotely, it's climate control, and get the car warmed up, he said. Thank you. Not asked it to do anything yet. Right, so we'll turn the climate control on. And what happens now, for those of you who haven't seen early videos, is that sends a signal, I mean, the, this could be connected, it's connected Wi-Fi at the moment, it could be connected cellular as well. That sends a signal to Nissan's, um, Nissan's center, and that in turn relays a cellular message down to the car, which is what it has done. And I don't know if you could hear that click just now, that was our electricity, that was the, uh, um, the charger in the garage, I'm going to call it the charger, uh, the charger in the garage going on and you can see now that there's a single blue light flashing on the car dashboard and that indicates that it is now, uh, it's now got the climate controller so the car is currently warming up so that means the, uh, we should start to see the windows demist and uh, that also heats up the, the, the heated seats and the steering wheel in the case of my car. Um, oops, just having a quick look. So yeah, I was driven 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 it quite uh, aggressively recently. <laughs> yeah, eighty one miles and um, eighty seven miles predicted with climate range on and off, respectively. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, that's enough chatting. I'm going to have a coffee and a quick bite to eat, and then I'm going to make a move. What time are we? 9.28. Yeah, what time I've got moving. Okay, it's 10 to 10. That's the car preheated. And the sufficiently nourished. Hang on, let's, let's open it. You can hear the climate controls on. So I'm going to hit that button. Disconnect the power. And that's going to go back up here. Do it two hands here. I'll just leave that hanging there. It's sufficiently in the garage. 
Okay. Close that up. Close that PC up. That's quite important. Step inside. Right. Ah, nice and toasty and warm. So yeah, it's 10 to 10 and it's time to make a move. Right, I'm currently charging at Warwick Services South. Um, I'm going to head off shortly, I'm at 78% and my next stop is going to be uh, Sherwell Valley. So uh, let me just find that. Sherwell Valley, oh Sherwell, I'm 40. Uh, route details, right, we want fastest route. Oh, it's just straight down the M40. I don't really need to put this on, but it's, it's useful for um, just an idea, keeping an idea on energy levels and things. Uh, it's 23 miles away, okay. So, yeah. Yeah, that took... Proceed to the highlighted route. Okay, that took 40 minutes to get to this point from Nuneaton, so it's, it's kind of got to go around Coventry to get down to South Warwickshire. Um, yeah, making reasonable progress, so uh, that's enough here. I'm going to head off now. It's, uh, yeah, once it hits 80, I'll, I'll plug and go. Right, Sherwell Services, 25 minutes later. Um, plugged in, I'm charging. Some useful idiot the right phrase in this context but some idiot uh, who used this charger previously decided they were going to um, just stow the stow the connector just hanging over the edge this is a bit of a problem with these chargers um, let me just show you actually you see that little cradle thing on the left hand side um, there's one of those on each side and it's supposed to oh, let me get out and show this is where it actually plugs. This is where it actually should rest in here, like the holster. Uh, unfortunately, some people hang it over these things here, which are designed actually for this. They're designed actually for this bit to hang over. Yeah, it's rubbish when it's plugged in. Um, yeah, people just leave them hanging over here. The actual nozzle, for want of a better word. And then obviously that's exposed to the elements, which causes problems because water gets in, it's very bad. Uh, yeah, poor design on the part of these, unfortunately, but uh, yeah, we just have to live with it. It's nearly 12.50 and I'm at Cheveley, uh, which is the M4 A34 services, uh, where those two sort of intersect. So. Uh, I'm making progress, but I got here at 12.38. Um, bear in mind I set off at 10 o'clock. Uh, so I've done I've done 94 miles and that's taken two hours, 38 minutes. So, hmm, I think the jury's still out on the, on the fast approach. I've been traveling at 70. I've pretty much set it to cruise at 70. Um, and so this, this is the third stop now. Um, I stopped at Warwick South, uh, then I stopped at Sherwell, um, and so yeah, this is this has been my next stop. And I think obviously that you factoring when you factor in the stops and the fact that you stopped for you know maybe twenty minutes, uh, how that compares to travelling directly on an eco route without having to stop. I'm not sure. I think you pay. Maybe you pay your money. It you takes your choice. I may well go back today, following an eco route, and see how it works out. But interestingly, I, well, I'm going to have to have a look at the figures later and sort of decide then. It might be a case of dip, depends on weather and mood and all kinds of things as to which journey you you prefer, or just you know you may you may choose a fast route just because potentially less wear and tear on the on the car you're traveling at a, uh, cruising at a speed of 70 you know you're not braking constantly braking accelerating anything like that so I don't know we'll see later anyway 
and may go and grab a drink now. It's about time. Right, Winchester services on the M3. Um, yeah, I've got here at, uh, it's two o'clock now. Uh, I'm plugged in and charging. Um, I did have a bit of a minor catastrophe at my last stop in that I managed to spill coffee all down myself, which is quite impressive. Uh, so, yeah, I almost considered abandoning this trip because I thought I'm going to look absolutely terrible by the time I get there, but I have miracle trousers on. Doesn't appear to be any sign of coffee spillage. So I'm going to carry on. And the only thing I'm thinking about at the moment is uh, I'm just wondering how battery temperature is going to cope with this uh, this trip today. I think I'm going to be all right because the plan is when I get to Portsmouth, which will be the next stop, um, I will be plugging in and charging there at, uh, assuming it's working, a slower rate charger, well, a fast charger at level two, like I use at home. So that's uh, that should that should make that should make things a little bit easier on the battery. Um, I'm hoping that will. You know, let the battery, let, let the temperature cool down, and uh, yeah, not cause any issues. Because I don't really want any issues on the way back. But yeah, it's uh, two o'clock, so I've been on the road for four hours. Uh, put this in context: I used to travel down from Warwick, so not not quite where I live. But uh, when I used to do the run when I worked at IBM down to uh, to Portsmouth, I, it used to take about two and a half hours. Now we may have been a bit fruity on the old accelerator as well at the time, I'm not sure, I can't remember. Long time ago, it's the late, late 90s. Uh, so the, whereas this time I'm, you know, I'm rigorously keeping to 70. And so, yeah, in that respect, it's going to be slower, but there's no doubt about it. Obviously, this, this is the thing with an electric car, a journey of this, this type will take you longer. And that's just the reality of living with, with an electric car. Should call the video series that. Hmm. Okay, quarter past three. I've arrived in Portsmouth. I'm... Uh, yeah, gun, gun off keys. So, uh, yeah, it was a bit, a bit chaotic getting into Portsmouth, but uh, I'm just hoping this is going to work now because that's going to be quite important. Um, <laughs> That's where we are, temperature and everything wise. Guess on meter and uh, do Jimmy what's it? So, yeah. Let's see what we can do. Okay, well as is, as is the case, none of the cards worked, but fortunately the apps worked. And so, uh, yeah, we're successfully charging. Good to see. Two other cars plugged in. So quite busy.
Okay, I'm back in the car after a uh, a trip round, a sightseeing trip round HMS Victory. Uh, there's a bit of family connection there, that my granddad served on HMS Victory, albeit a training. Uh, it was a training vessel at the time, I do believe. Uh, but yeah, nice to see some family family connections there. So uh, I quite enjoyed that. I haven't been around Victory since I was a kid. It's probably about I don't know seven or eight when I was last here. Definitely going to come back and bring family and have a proper look around the dockyards and set off earlier. I left it a bit late today. Anyway, back in the car, I'm on uh, charged up to 67%. Interesting, Lisa, 67. Okay, Winchester Services northbound. I'm just about to head off 10 past 7. And uh, yeah, time's pressing on. Time to head off. 28 minutes past eight, Cheagley services, 80% ready to go, at 70 miles on the clock. Right, next leg, here we come. Right, Sherwell services, it's now half past nine. Got here about a quarter past, plumbed us straight into charge, and uh, we're on 59%. So, yeah, it's just started, it started raining just around Oxford area. Um tempted to go for a coffee. I think I'll wait till I get to Warwick. Uh, making smooth progress. I think uh, traffic's obviously fairly easy now at this time. So I'm quite enjoying the trip, really. Anyway. Shall I coffee or not? Hmm. I'll ponder that one. Right, Warwick Services. I'm on the home leg now. Uh, 25 miles to go. Yeah, home stretch. And uh, yeah, I've just got to got to get. <laughs> just gone and got a drink. And uh, let's see, what have we got here? Got here five minutes past ten. I, I could go now actually. There's no no real need for me to hang around much longer. But. Uh, we may well do. Yeah, 25 miles. Yeah, see, I got 48 on the gasometer. And I know this stretch very well. I'm just going to have my drink, I think. I'll have my drink and then I'll head back. Right, so that's it. Back home. Uh, it's just gone 11 o'clock. 25% left battery, 19% on the gasometer. And as you can probably gather, it's snowing. Yeah, it started snowing about the time I got to Coventry. It started snowing. So, uh, yeah, interestingly, <coughs> the temperature gauge has been behaving. Um, I think it's only gone up one block since I left Portsmouth, funnily enough. So, I've had it on eight bars before. Um, and yeah it's it's it hasn't really it hasn't gone up at all as far as i've seen uh, and the whole journey coming back so contrary to my worries about whether i was going to be running into problems with battery temperature those worries have proven to be unfounded which is very good but yeah i've charged let's see uh, i've rapid charged eight times today yeah, that's right. I did, uh, when I was parked in Portsmouth, uh, I obviously had the car in charging there. That was the level two charge. So um, temperature wasn't affected by that. But uh, yeah, I've not got a lot more to say for now. I may, uh, may make an addendum tomorrow with some little figures see what we find out. Right, it's snowing and it's late. Late-ish. Time for bed, said Zebedee. Okay, conclusions from the trip down to Portsmouth. Well, I've realised that there isn't really that much difference between driving an eco route and fastest route, certainly not in the case in the cases that I've experienced. So, 
yeah for instance it's to get from my house here to Sherwell services is between it's about one and a quarter to one and a half hours and you know I've done that journey a few times and it's around about that time and yesterday's trip because I went the fastest route obviously it's a slightly longer winded route slightly longer way around but you're maximizing your speed so doing 70 70 miles per hour on dual carriageways and motorway but I think because of the necessity of stopping because you're using more energy uh, it actually evens out so I stopped at Warwick um, I left Warwick an hour after I'd left home you know following charging there got to share well and I was you know it was about an hour it was 25 minutes later so and I've done that trip from home to Sherwell services on the eco route before one hour 70 I've actually done it one hour five minutes so actually quite a bit faster on the eco route uh, so conclusions really the experiment was to see whether it was better to go faster on motorways uh, faster speeds and charge more often and the conclusion really is it depends what you prefer to do if you prefer to go an eco route and you know have have a more relaxing drive but with more stopping and starting go an eco route uh, but if you just fancy getting somewhere and you're happy to stop more often go the fast route and I guess the fast route as I touched on yesterday is better in terms of wear and tear on the car uh, interestingly I said yesterday that I'd done the trip in two and a half hours when I used to work when I used to go down with work to Portsmouth from Warwick and I actually put the route in on Google Maps and looking at that Google Maps route it actually reckoned the, the time would be um, three and a half hours so yesterday's trip down was not well it was quite a bit longer obviously because of the stops but not <clears throat> not as big a difference as I thought there was going to be so uh, yeah and I did come back coming back yesterday I came back on the the first part of the journey leaving Portsmouth <clears throat> up to the first stop I did go an eco route which was quite cross-country and uh, interesting in places some single track roads so uh, be quiet child <laughs> so um, yeah it was an interesting bit of that where I hit a nice big pothole <laughs> bloody like Nora and uh, the car seems to be all right so it wasn't wasn't that hideous but I did get to go through Winchester on the route back which was very pretty again haven't been down to Winchester for, for a long time and even at night it reminded me how pretty it was so that's another place I have to go back to anyway so conclusions are pff, you want to go a fast route go the fast route you want to go an eco route go an eco route nothing nothing massively learned yesterday other than I had a really nice day and that's good enough <laughs>